good afternoon friends welcome back to the channel hitchhiking yeti here and today i'm in cary north carolina and we're here to check out the chinese lantern festival so this ought to be awesome i'm looking forward to this i could kind of see the lights on our way in and it looked amazing so kick back enjoy the video because this might just be beautiful all right friends this right here is the entrance to the Chinese Lantern Festival. Pretty spectacular. I can't wait to get inside and check all this greatness out. All right, friends, we are in. And let's get ready to do this. This is awesome. I love these frogs. Now this right here is pretty awesome. These birds actually talk. If you go up here and talk into the little hole there, it's like a little microphone. Watch right here, this guy. It's a hello. <laughs> that is so awesome so right next to the birds has some beautiful flowers They have some other birds down here. These don't talk like the other ones, but the parakeets back here were pretty awesome. That was pretty rad. So right here, this is called the opera characters. And here they are. Is this not beautiful? This is amazing. There's so much stuff here to look at. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I need one more camera. Ooh, look at these dragon heads. These things are awesome looking. They are so colorful. You know something kind of cool? The last time I was here at this venue where this is being held, I was here at a rock concert to see Poison and Motley Crue way back in like 2003. And above us they have all these like umbrellas, upside down umbrella looking designs. All decorated. But take a look at this like castle structure they got out here. That is awesome. With this dragon over here to the left. Is that not beautiful? So they have all kinds of little things you can buy also right here. If you're into dragons, look at these things. And this thing is huge. I am just shocked how big this is. Just look, look back down through here. You gotta go see all that stuff. Check that out. And look at these little pandas over here that have like on a teeter totter. You see that? How cool is that? We are definitely going to walk down there. That is too awesome. All right, let's get back to it. All right. We are on our way down the steps to go check out the pandas. 
I'm pumped. A little nippy out here. Not too bad. Uh. Oh man, check his stuff out. Yes. Very beautiful. So I don't know a whole lot about flowers, but these are beautiful. I'm gonna guess they're tulips, maybe. We're being a little bit different tonight. We're going the opposite direction as you're supposed to go, I believe. But it's all good. Check out these trees. It's like weeping willows all lit up. There's a little mist of fog over this lit up structure. I don't know if that's actually fog or is it just so cold it's a little steam coming off the water. <laughs> oh there it is. It is a little fog. I see the fog maker down there now. I must say Clark Griswold would be quite happy with this because this is what you call some real exterior <laughs> illumination. <laughs> Over here we have another dragonfly. All right, we made it to the panda bear area. I love panda bears. This little girl right here loves panda bears because she's all up in them. <laughs> Check that out. That nares on its back. That's the way I like to do. If I was a panda bear, that's me laying down. That's my wife giving me a belly rub. Those are the best. This one here's got a beach ball. It's kind of balancing on his head. Nice little trick. But this is the one I wanted to see right here. The two on the teeter-totter. That is fancy. I like that. That is so cool. How cute is that? These here holding hands. Here we have some more pandas. Look how big that one is. Man, it's huge. him out and he's moving get you some of that that is awesome <laughs> that is too cool guess what little guy one of these days you're going to grow up and you're going to be just like him and right behind them where the pandas are located we have these guys and this one here is actually spitting water That's pretty cool. Look at these guys right here. They're pretty bright and colorful. Check that out. It's like a Komodo dragon with a peacock feather shooting out of the top of it. This dinosaur right here, T-Rex, he's actually opening his mouth up. His teeth. He's saying, feed me more.
Triceratops. Look at this raptor looking dude here. Check him out. They have all kinds of raptors. A little bit different color variations as we walk. Now they have this dragon out here on the water with some fishies swimming alongside. He is definitely a show stopper. He is amazing looking. Look at the dinosaur. And right behind us, they have like a selfie. Place for a selfie. You can actually walk in this dino mouth right here. Just like they're doing. I'll go ahead. So this dragon here is just pure amazing, reflecting off the water. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is cool. And then look at all the fish on the back side back here, like going up on the back of that dragon. And then when you pan around, look at all these neon lights we have here. I mean, this is insane. Look at that. Beautiful. If you ever want to come, all the way, if you get a chance to go to a Chinese lantern festival, by all means go. This is phenomenal. Beautiful. All right, this is really cool. So now they have the Chinese zodiac all the animals down through here which corresponds with the year you was born so we're going to kind of peruse on down this way and take a look at the animals from the chinese zodiac now so here we go so the first one is the rat as you can see down here they have the years that you would be a rat so there we go I want to try not to cut into anybody here. Here we have the ox. These characters are so cute. Right here we have the tiger. And then here we have the rabbit, the pesky rabbit. Right here we have the dragon. Right next to the dragon we have the snake. And here we have the horse. Remember Mr. Ed? A lot, lot cuter than Mr. Ed though. Here we have the old goat. And I don't mean the greatest of all time. It wasn't a Michael Jordan goat, but makes some LeBron James fans a little upset by that comment, maybe. Right here, we have the monkey. Funny, my wife plays this video game on Nintendo Switch called Animal Crossing, and a lot of these animals kind of look very similar to that. And right here, we have the rooster, which might be my favorite. Look how colorful the rooster is. That's really nice. And then right here we have the dog. I love the eyeballs. So much emotion. And then the last but not least is the pig. And if he was born in 1971, the pig will be your animal. Very, very cool. So right here where they have the zodiac signs that we just looked at, they have food trucks right here in this area that has all kinds of Chinese food. 
spring rolls, all that good stuff. Even those little round circular donut holes, they got them too. I might get one of those. I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty cold. Maybe some hot chocolate. But anywho, if you do come, they do have food trucks here, so bring your appetite. It smells really, really good. This is something that I like right here. They have tiger hat. They have all kind of little selfie areas, photo ops set up in and around the tour of all these lights, these lanterns. And right here's one. It's called Tiger Hat. This is pretty cool looking. This is pretty cool. We have some peacocks out here. Look at that thing. Oh man, check him out. He is getting happy. Holy smokes. That is beautiful. Yeah, that is pretty awesome right there. I mean, when he erected his feathers, he just turned into the Emerald City right out of Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Look at the flower petals as they move up and down. Got this big peacock up here. What's that? So we are next in line to get our picture made right here at this booth. Look at the wings. This is going to be so cool. So check this out. All these little star pads are all lit up. Got some Chinese death metal going on, and got some swings over here. Go we'll check them out too. Don't touch the mulch. I'm down here with the kids having a good time on the Star Star Road. Right over here, we have the swings. Swings are pretty cool. Everybody's waiting in line. Everybody's wanting the swings. It's like a hot thing. So we got to get in there and we got to push some out. We got to push some out. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. Now the lovely wife is going to take her turn on the glowy, on the glowy swing. <laughs> are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? My turn. That's right. I'm a big kid at heart. <laughs> oh yeah, man, this is nice. All right, that's good enough. <laughs> so now I'm on the other side of the castle. We can just see how pretty this thing is. It is beautiful out here. Gorgeous. So. When you walk through this tunnel here into this arena, they will have some Chinese performers up here on this stage. And they just let out. But this whole ground was like full, you know, for the last, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. You couldn't fit another person in here with a shoehorn. But that's what this part of the uh, festival is. So if you think you would like to be, you know, you're interested in that, come out here and check it out. The way in, it just come right through this big dragon castle and uh, you'll find your way to the stage. All right, friends, that will pretty much do it for me today. Had a great time here at the Chinese Lantern Festival in Cary, North Carolina, right outside of Raleigh. What a great evening. If you get a chance, definitely come check this out. This is such a cool event. Unfortunately, I think it ends like January 8th, but uh, every year this comes around and we always miss it. But this year we finally had a little bit of time right here after Christmas to get out here and check it out. Definitely go buy your tickets early because we got really lucky by getting our tickets here tonight at walk up. So uh, definitely want to. All right, friends, that will pretty much do it for me today here at the Chinese Lantern Festival. 
located in Cary, North Carolina. This was an awesome night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it tonight. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like today's content, give it a big old thumbs up. And as always, put your comments down below. I love reading them. Until next time, I'm your friend, the Hitchhiking Yeti, and I will see you friends in our next adventure. Everyone, please stay safe.